A special satellite launch this morning from the ISS. I just got an update from the Kestrel Eyes program manager. It successfully deployed just about five minutes ago. That's what it looks like right here. This is the start of an experiment that could potentially save you money and save lives. An experiment in space. The Kestrel Eye leaving the International Space Station for a long but important journey. Chip Hardy is the U.S. Army Space and Missile Defense Command Army Forces Strategic Command Kestrel Eye Program Manager. Hardy says the program started back in 2012. The imagery satellite hitched a ride on SpaceX's latest Falcon 9 launch to the ISS. Hardy says it will be able to take pictures quickly, then send them back to the user during the same pass over Earth. Since it's able to provide information rapidly, uh, would help the soldier on the ground know his conditions around him better and sooner than that leads to he is going to survive. Not only saving lives, but Hardy mentioned another aspect. Kestrel Eye program is driven to keep costs low so that we can ultimately have many satellites to form a constellation. That'll be able to take pictures from anywhere and in any circumstance worldwide. This is a first time opportunity to provide images from a small satellite directly to a user on the ground for a tactical application. And when Hardy says small. About the size of a dorm refrigerator. But then there again, keeping it small is yet another factor to keep costs low. This is just the start of the Kestrel Eyes voyage and long line of testing. In a year, we hope to have a final decision on Kestrel Eyes' ability to go forward to a full program. So this was really exciting. Just got that update via a text message from that program minister, manager this morning. And he said they were able to send it out successfully this morning from the ISS. Always good when they can get a launch off. Yes. And then you were saying that this satellite does a lot more than just tactical help for military. Right. So not only being able to have those military aspects to it, it also will be able to take pictures anywhere in the world to be able to help with things like natural disasters, like humanitarian assistance and disaster response. So that's pretty cool being able to show damage like after the recent hurricanes that we've had right. so in the future if this is a successful program for the Kestrel Eye they'll be able to help with more than just our U.S. military so pretty Sounds cool good. this morning.